My name is Sofia Rosa, owner of SVR Infinity and SofiaRosa.com. Thank you for watching me today. And if this is your first time to visit my channel, please click the subscription box and notification bell to get you notified for my next video. This is my second video for uh, my, my topic today. It's going to be my second video for the Q&A and the question this uh, comes from uh, or came from uh, Amy B and her questions are uh, Given that she has a horse in her day pillar. What does it mean for the metal rat for 2020? And second is is, to, is it okay for me to open my business in or restaurant rather in 2020? Okay, let's start with her natal chart um before I go, you know, explain the classes and everything, I, ho I hope I'm clear in explaining that every clash doesn't actually mean that it's a bad thing, okay? Especially if this is the missing element in your natal chart, it can actually be beneficial for you. Okay, now before I uh, dive deeper, I'd like to explain to you that the birthday of Amy B is October 31, 1981. Her day master is Ren Wu. And based on her entire chart, what's missing in the chart is uh, is water. Okay. So, anyways, before I explain what does it mean in technical terms, I also want to explain when it comes to day pillar, it actually represents either you, your spouse, or your home. Okay. And when there is a clash, it actually simply means that there are changes. Okay. Now, in terms of your day, it actually means that your relationship with your spouse or your significant someone may change. Meaning, uh, it can if say your relationship in the past years has been harmonious, you may expect more arguments this year. However, you can actually do this to your use this to your advantage. How? Since there is a change, my suggestion is that you initiate some activity that you can do together uh, with your spouse or your significant someone that you haven't done before. By doing this, this is a change that you are actually initiating. And by doing the same activities together allows you both to actually nurture your relationship further. Okay, so do we say pick a hobby, you know, go tennis together. So that's one activity that you haven't done before. And by doing that religiously, it's actually a change that you initiated in the first place. So it's better to actually initiate the change than let the change happen to you. Because when you initiate the change, you can actually do it in the favor or in the favor or in your favor rather. Or in something that you actually enjoy doing. Okay, so that's one of my suggestions. And in addition to the relationship with the spouse, this can also mean about your uh, home. You might experience uh, renovation or you might relocate your home in a new location. Okay, so those are the things that can mean when it comes to clash. It simply means change. And you can use it to your advantage by preparing and initiating the change yourself. Okay, now looking back to your chart, it says there it's uh, lacking in metal, oh, sorry, water element. Now, uh, the rat and the horse is a clash between water and fire. In this case, the one that actually wins is the water. Okay, so since the water is actually missing in your chart, this actually means that the, the changes that's going to happen in 2020 is actually going to be beneficial for you. Okay, it may be unsettling or uh, uncomfortable at first, but as you go through the motion, you'll realize that the change that happened in your life is actually going to be beneficial. So you don't have to worry about the clash for 2020. All you can think about is the change that can happen and what can you do to initiate the change that you want at, or is that something in your favor, okay? Now looking at the, your second question, which is, uh, and can I open a restaurant in 2020? Okay, opening a business is an amazing feeling and it's exciting and something to look forward to. However, before you actually open your, your restaurant, what I want for you is to focus on the marketplace. Make sure that the restaurant that you're actually going to open is going to fill in the gap that's missing in your environment. Because the moment you just open it because you feel like everybody's doing it, that's one of the reasons why business fails. Okay, so my suggestion before you open up your restaurant is to focus on your consumers. If you can actually provide more value, better than the ones that's surrounding you not as a com not as to compete but to simply give more value to your consumers because the more value you actually give the more clients come in okay so make sure that when you open your restaurant you focus on the consumers instead of just keeping up with the trend okay because it we want your business to last 
and we want your we want your business to have consumers that are going to be lo loyal to your own brand and by doing that is you look and get to know your market and find out what they actually need that others don't provide by doing that you have a better and upper hand when running uh, or opening your business in addition to of course marketing financial management and so on and so forth and then in the process you also continuously improve educate yourself in running an efficient and effective way in running a restaurant okay I hope I am making sense and I hope I gave value to you know value or a better understanding and better advice in helping you create your business and understanding your chart for 2020 thank you so much Amy for sending your question for the rest uh, please send in or comment in the comment box your question and your birthday and the birth hour please be specific when it comes to your question so I can actually choose you for my next question and answer uh, portion thank you so much thank you for your time and I hope I see you in my next video bye